Hi everyone, I'm Teresa Collins, and today I'm gonna show something that I think is so cool. So I've done this for years, so, um, but I've, I've noticed I did a make and take with my craft channel at the Scrapbook Expo, and I taught how to make a accordion book out of one file folder. So this is just your plain manila file folder that you find at your office supply. And all the little bits and pieces, everything else is my memories line. And I just thought it was so cute and so simple. And um, I found that so many people had never even heard or seen how to do this. So I thought, I'm going to show you how to do it. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a regular file folder. Now, here's the tip and the trick. The cheaper, the better. The thinner, the better. Because if it's thinner, it folds a little bit easier. You can even see that I bought these at Staples. And it's okay because you can cover up that mark. Um, but honestly, you know, when you're going to go buy them or if you have them, they have color, they have all kinds of great things, go for the thinner. Now, you're also going to need a scoreboard. Um, I love my scoreboard. Love, love, love. And um, what I did, and I already just kind of re did this. I'm going to redo it over. So there are no rules. You could change this up, but I'm going to tell you what I like to do. I like to go at the four inch mark. And if you were seeing this, you can see it's four inches. And because the file folder is longer than my board, I just know that I have to do one side and then I have to flip it to get to the opposite side at four inches again. So I just kind of line it up. Now, don't be afraid to do a score. You want to make sure that it is, it is actually a good score line so that when you fold it up, it's not like just, you're not going to have to do that. So then once you've done that, you fold it up. So it should look something like this. Now, here's something you're going to need to be aware of. When you buy file folders, you can see where this originally had the tab along the bottom. This one here has it in the center. So guess what? You can use both. Your project will just look different depending on where the tabs are. Okay, so then once I've done this and you just fold that up and then you're just going to take your scoreboard again and you can really decide, you know, if you want four inches. I always just try to make sure that I line up everything with the center here. So um, you may want to fold it just like what I've done and then you could take it and you could go, oh, it looks like, you know, I want to do four, four and a half inches. What Ever, you know you really want to do I tend to still go at the four inch mark and so I'm going to line mine up knowing that my tabs are over the four inch and like I said every file folder will be different and so you can really decide but I'm giving a really nice little score there so that once I have my book I have scored it and you can kind of see here once I've done this that I lined it up with this edge but my file folder actually goes off the you know the edge and you want that you want that file folder to look like that so now I know my next mark my next score is going to be exactly to line up with the book now here's the little tip and trick sometimes it is really hard to get it to line up exactly and it's okay if it doesn't so I'm scoring it again and it's still pretty thick. So sometimes I'll go a second time and then you're going to fold that. And if you look at my book, it's definitely not perfect, but you can tell that my edges all line up on the side. Now I'm going to move my scoreboard. Now, when you look at this and it's open, you want the pockets to be on the inside of your book. So that's when you're going to come fold your flat, your folds down, and then you're going to take your adhesive and you're just going to put the adhesive on each side. And this way, it will remain as a pocket. Now, your tab will be along the edge, so don't put adhesive there. You want to make sure that you just come to the side of it. Fold it. And now you have a perfect file folder book. 
And again, your tabs may be different, and that's okay. So to dress up your file folder book, because right now it's just a manila, you know, it's got the pockets here. One of the things that I love to do is I love to add buttons. And so I want to show how cool this is. So you see there's a button here with the string. So when you buy buttons, they have the shanks already on the back. Okay, so with your button, take your file folder, and when I added ribbon as a closure, I just put a hole right in the front of my, of my file folder, and then you're gonna take your ribbon, so, and it doesn't matter what kind of ribbon, just as long as it will go through the shank of your button. Now, girls and guys, you know how I love my buttons and all those fun things. This instantly dresses up your little file folder. Is that not cute? And you know, we all have lots of buttons. So then you would just take it and then you're gonna close it and you have got the cutest little button closure for your file folders. Now, the file folders, practice. Practice makes perfect. You know, practice, you know, making those little books. I promise you they are so fun. They're a great addition to making your little mini albums.